Hi, in this video, the third of the JSS implementation series, we're going to have a look at master pages or the main structure of our site and how do we create it. Now, the main structure is meant to be one structure that everything will fit in. Every single page in our site has to fit in that uh, structure. Why? Because you create it in the layout.js and it applies to every single place in your site. Now, most people think of the structure as header, main, and footer. These are the main three components. And a lot of people, even the sample application within JSS, creates the header statically within the layout.js. Now, I don't actually recommend doing that for two reasons. The first one is that it becomes not editable from the experience editor. The second reason is that you have landing pages that you might not want the header to be in or the footer. So as a better practice, it's just better to have in layout.js or in the main structure, just placeholders for your different components. And then you add the components through the actual designer. So what we want to achieve is have our layout be header, main, and footer like this. In order to do so, we actually need to go into three different files within our JSS app our layout.js where we're going to add our placeholder our sitecore definitions placeholders.sitecore.js to define a meaningful display name for each of these placeholders and add the placeholders to the package.json i'm going to explain this in more details as we're doing it so let's get started first thing i'm going to do is go to layout.js as we discussed here and you can see you have the jss main here i'm just going to copy it and create a jss header and copy it again and create a JSS footer. So now we've defined that we should have a header, a main, and a footer as our three placeholders in our layout or in our main structure. Following through what we said here, the second thing is to actually go to SciCore definitions placeholders.sitecore.js. Now, why is this important? Because you need to actually put meaningful names for them. You don't want them to be called JSS header and JSS footer for the content editor. So what I'll do here is just give them nice names. So header and footer. And finally, we need to go to package.json because in package.json, you can see here there's the root placeholders section where you need to add every single root placeholder. So I'm going to add here JSS header and JSS footer. And save. Now the next step is to actually deploy my app. Once deployed, we're going to see that we have three different pieces or parts where we can add items called header, main, and footer as we expect. Okay, now it's completed. Let me just open an empty partial design called header. And we're going to see here that we now have three components here, header or three placeholders, header, main, and footer. If we open it up in Experience Editor, we're going to see here the header has been added and the footer has been added. And the main is what we already had, so it already had content here. Now that we have an understanding on how to create the layout or the main structure of our site, the next step is to actually start creating the header and footer themselves. So in the next video, we're going to see how to create headers and footers. Thank you for watching.